Hi Pisces, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. We're going to be getting some messages for you today. But before I do, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me in through your nose and out through your mouth. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is grab you some angel numbers. So these numbers, I will post the meaning um, of what these, I will post the meaning of these numbers in the comments after I post the video. <laughs> Getting tongue-tied today. All right, let's see what we got. They're small, so bear with me. Um, but they'll be posted, so you'll know. So you have two, one, seven, five. All right, I'm going to write that down real quick. So your angel number today is 2175. All right, so just go up and, I mean, look for the meaning after I post it, okay? All right, let's get the cards. Let's see what they have to say. Spirit, what does, oh, dropping cards, dropping cards. All right, they're talking, so let me just pick them up and then we'll see what they are. All right, all right, so you have the Page of Cups, the Eight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Justice, Queen of Swords. All right, so it looks like, hmm, it looks like somebody might be coming in either with a love offer because Eight of Wands could be arrows of love, right? So they're gonna, Eight of Wands is communication. And the pages come in with messages or, I don't know, they could be coming in offering you their cup. But it could be somebody coming in offering you an apology. And I'm kind of leaning towards that. It's somebody who's going to be communicating with you. They're going to reach out. I think there's somebody that wants to apologize to you. For what? I'm not sure yet. But you got the Queen of Swords down here. And she is my Lady of Knowledge. She cuts through all the BS. So she's going to see through this page. She's not going to let him or her sweet talk her. Right? And again, I don't assign gender, gender to my cards. So this is just the energy. But because she's a queen, I say she. I have a tendency to say she. So please bear with me with that. But anyway. Yeah, I think the queen is definitely not going to put up with any BS from the page. But it looks like the page might be coming in to, you know, offer an apology. Page is a little bit immature. You know, the queen is very mature and, you know, knows what she's doing. She's the authority. I don't know, but seven, seven of Pentacles says that you've been planting seeds, right? And now you're just waiting for your harvest. So you planted your seeds. You, you, you've been watching them grow. And now it's almost time. It's almost time for you to collect the harvest. So just be a little patient because justice is here and justice is saying that balance is going to be restored in whatever situation this is. If somebody did you wrong, balance is, the scale is going to be balanced again. You will get justice. So just hang in there. And if it's not, maybe it's, and if it's not that, if somebody didn't do you wrong, then this page is coming in to offer you some love. Because you're planting seeds that you want love. But you're being the queen of swords here. So you're you're saying, don't BS me. Don't, no players. You know, I don't want nobody who's coming in to play games with me. Because I'm going to be able to see right through it. So it's either or. I, get, I have both of those stories in my head. So take it how it resonates for you. Let's get some more cards. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see if we can get the bigger picture to see which story it could be. 
I mean, it really could be both. There's, there's, uh, you know, more than one Pisces in the world. So it could be one story for one of you and the other story for another. Looks like somebody from your past is coming back. Is that the page? I don't know. Oh, but you're going to stand your ground. Like I said, you're not going to put up with any BS. You're going to see right through it. And of course, you have the strength and courage to stand your ground. That's the Hierophant. That is my spiritual teacher. So either you're going to be consulting with somebody, um, asking for advice, or this is just you connecting. Connecting with Source, connecting with God, connecting with your angels, spirit guides, whomever you speak with or whoever speaks to you about the situation and how you sh how's the best way that you personally should handle it. I don't know. Let's get some more. Okay. Keep dropping cards today. Sorry about that. Face your adversaries. Oh. Well, maybe there is some kind of a conflict. Maybe somebody is trying to... I don't know what that's about. Did somebody offend you or disrespect you in some way? Like, are you wondering whether you should speak to them or remain silent to avoid, you know, a big confrontation? I think this card is saying that you need to let them know what is not acceptable to you, right? In the most loving way possible, of course. But I think you need to speak your truth. I think that's what this card is all about, is, is stand your ground. You know, don't let anybody disrespect you. I think that is an apology. And I think it's going to come after you stand your ground. After you say, uh-uh, I'm the queen of swords, honey. You're not getting away with that. You're not getting anything past me. Mm-mm. That's not how you're going to treat me. That's not the behavior that uh, that's acceptable. I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting. All right, let's get, let's get another card. Let's see what's going on. change the changes that you're going through are positive yeah so I think I think that's it I think that you are learning to speak your truth I think you are now in the queen of swords energy maybe you weren't before but now you are and now you're not going to let people get away with the things that you might have let them get away with in the past I think the change is very positive and I think it's going to make you happy sacred union partnership and romance all right so either somebody romantic is coming in for you or you're in a very romantic relationship and this is just acknowledging that or this is saying that this that spirit is is your sacred union you know like spirits always listening and always by your side that you're never alone right that the divine is 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 there for you whenever you need help like you, all you have to do is ask for it you know so uh i i just think that this is a very positive card no matter what it means to you whether it means that you are in a relationship you're getting a relationship or that that the, that the divine is here guiding you and loving you and supporting you and that when you need to face your ad or sorry, you can reach out. You could say, hey, Archangel Michael, I need some protection because I'm about to go speak my truth to this person. So can you have my back? Archangel Gabriel, can you give me the right words to say? You know, you can always call. Oh my God, I'm tearing up. <laughs> I always, that's a sign for me. So, okay, it's a terrible sign. You know, I'd rather get the chills or something. <laughs> but I get tears. But anyway, you can always call on your angels. Oh my goodness, they're here with me giving me a hug because I called them. So do that. Like whenever you 
call their names. Whenever you say, you know, you could say, Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. He's going to step forward. He's going to step forward and he's going to be there to help and guide you. Right? So, um, just know that. So, that's what that card is. To me, it's an absolutely beautiful card. It's like one of the best cards in the deck. Okay. Let's get a moon card. And you got, what do you need to release? I don't know. What do you need to release? What are you holding on to? Are you holding on to some fear? Or, or some negative thoughts? Let it go. You are worthy, right? You are worthy of whatever. Whatever you want, whatever you desire, you're worthy. So let go of what no longer serves you. Let go of those negative thoughts. All right, let's see what else we get. A little red riding hood. I am not a victim. Exactly. Exactly. You are not a victim. So don't play one. Okay? Don't play one. Don't let somebody get one over on you. Stand your ground. Give your relationship a chance. Your Work on your partnership. Okay, so... To me, this is saying that, A, you are in a relationship. It is a sacred union. It was divinely guided to you. You guys, two people were brought together, you know, with the help of Source, right? So it's worth it. Give it a chance. Work on it. Love it and nurture it. Or it could be talking about the angels again, like like I did. Like, this is a sacred union between you and the divine. So give your relationship a chance. Like, if you need help from Archangel Michael, call upon him. Give that a chance. Try it. Either or. All right, let's grab some tea leaves. Oh, well, that one was fast. Let me get one more. All right, you have chain a chain of events that will affect your life well well that's kind of obvious right i feel like there's always a chain of events that affect our lives but i guess there's going to be in a very important chain of events maybe if you speak your truth to somebody that's going to set something in motion i don't know you'll have to see shield you need to defend yourself okay Okay, so again, I feel like this is you here standing your ground, not let anybody disrespect you, um, not anybody hurt, let anybody hurt your feelings on purpose. You know what I mean? Like if you're offended, if you're disrespected, defend yourself, speak up. I'm not telling you to go to battle with somebody. I'm just saying, just speak up, speak your truth. You know, don't be a pushover. All right. Let's get some charms. Oh, you have Cupid. You have Cupid coming out. So there looks like love is coming in. Maybe it's, it's you know, Cupid is shooting his arrows, right? And it's saying give it a chance. Work on it. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Chocolate. Something sweet's about to come in. You're about to get something sweet. You're about to live the good life. That says the good life if you can't see it. There is definitely love here. Beautiful love. You also have my panda here. So that means balance is being restored, right? You're going to get justice for a situation. So don't worry about it. Now the last three charms that I got, you got the ghost, which usually for me represents Halloween. You got the gingerbread man, which represents Christmas to me. And you got January. So, I think with those three charms, something significant is going to happen between Halloween and January. That's going to be a very important time for you. And I think that something important, 
some kind of a change, some kind of a shift, some kind of an event, something is going to happen during that time. So just be aware of that. Keep an eye out for it and let me know if it comes true. Anyway, Pisces, that is all I have for you. If this helped you in any way, if you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel because that helps me, makes me so grateful. Thank you. And until next time, love and light.